What up, Van Dams and Van Doodles? <laughs> it's me, Joy Latikin, here with a, another weekly porch talk. Um, not very much to talk about this weekend, uh, this week. Uh, I, uh, got AirPods, as you can see, peeking out from my perfectly uncoiffed beanie. Um, as a gift from my sister, um, and as someone who, uh, doesn't make a ton of money, <laughs> uh, the holidays are always an amazing reminder, even in little ways of, like, I probably couldn't buy myself AirPods, right? Um, but my sister asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and I was like, oh, is this too much? This is something I've wanted, you know? And I think it's just a reminder that if you do have family or friends that are basically family during this time of year, um, I know that's, like, an expensive slash first world problem gift, but, like, I don't know. There are people in your corner who want to help you and who want to take care of you, not just during the holidays, but all year round. And it was a reminder that like, oh, my, si my sister's so willing to do that for me. Um, let me make sure I take care of her right quick. Um, so yeah, there's that on that. Um, if you haven't seen on my channel, the Mighty Die Young Alive video is out now. Um, that was filmed in a marina that's like almost two hours away from where I live. Um, and it is, they do like Halloween celebrations there, um, and ghost tours. Um, so yeah, uh, it's really spooky to sing a song about death in the spooky haunted marina with my friends. Just kidding. Uh, it's nice. It's sentimental. It's cute. I'm there. Um, so you should check it out if you haven't yet. Um, I am working on a day in the life video and that'll sort of be the last video before I go on holiday. Um, and I'm really excited. I was actually going to do it this week and then I decided, oh, this would probably be like a good send off before like the holidays and then moving into the next year. Um, we'll do more episodes with some more fun stuff. Um, but yeah, I, if you want to drop in the comments, things you want to see, things you have questions about that I do during the day, now's the time because you have a week, seven days actually less than seven days. I am a procrastinator, but I'm not that much of a procrastinator. You have less than a week to ask me what you want to see on that video. So do it, be free. Um, I can't, I honest to God can't remember if I talked about this last week. I'm pretty sure I did. I just got a drum kit. And as a creative, it has been so life-giving. Like so, 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 so life-giving. Um, I feel like a kid again, where I'm just sort of like playing around and making noises. Like just before this, I was playing <laughs> drums to the killers and like, I don't know. I like, I use it as a way to like close out my work day where I'm like, okay, I'm done. <sighs> Ending the day, like what's something I can fun, what's something fun that I can do that's like right here upstairs in my little world. Um. And it's so fun. I'm gonna like drop in even a TikTok of me playing drums because that's how serious it's gotten for me. Yeah, I have started being active on TikTok again. Cheers. Um, I think part of it was fueled by seething jealousy from my peers skyrocketing careers. Um, and another part of it was like, it is a platform that I have that I really do enjoy. Um, and I think a weird thing happens to me, um, when things are monetized or when they become important. It's like, I love learning, but I hate school. You know what I mean? Um, I think that I tend to like shut down or be like, oh, it's like, it's not fun anymore. And not, it's not pure anymore. And I do think to a certain extent, um, I took a break from making a lot of TikToks just because there was a lot going on in my life and in the times. And it just like, I called the shots and like, it was the first thing to go. Like it was one of the things where it's like, I just can't think about like singing a stupid song on TikTok today. Um, 
but now it is becoming a little bit more fun, a little bit more freeing, and I've been gone so long, so nobody really GAF, if you know what I mean, what I do. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just watching Joni shit and I can't decide if I'm gonna flip the camera to show you or not. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, anyway, um, you're welcome, by the way, because it's taking a long time. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I got. If you're wondering what I'm enjoying outside on my porch, uh, I've started drinking again. Um, for a while, I was Cali sober, uh, but... Uh, that was a lot, like, for health reasons. Diabetes runs in my family, and my A1C for my yearly blood work came back high, which is, like, the blood, not necessarily blood glucose, but it sort of, like, measures how much sugar is in your blood at a certain time and what's not chill, and um, it was high. So I stopped drinking as sort of a way to get that number down, started exercising a little more, changed a little bit of what I eat, um, and I still eat an ice cream cone every night guys oh rachel's here so i'm gonna end the video oh. say hello to rachel what is <laughs> it's my weekly youtube video oh. so anyways <laughs> i drink again i'm no longer pre-diabetic uh joni just took a nice fresh shit in our backyard um and i love you guys stay safe stay sane like Subscribe, share, and remember I love you, and your Lord and Savior, Jones' Christ, loves you.